<clears throat> so So um yeah <clears throat> I would feel like I would want to talk about About this episode and mm -mm. so let's get on with the chapter two of the anime of Super Mario Kart 4's anime arc. Yep, we're going to the second part. Church. All right. <clears throat> Let's talk about, anyways, so we start with, well, obviously the, the Splatfest incident. So, well, let's talk about the first thing, let's explain a bit, a bit of the plot. Um, so Maggie gone missing, best part first about begin, Bob was a replacement, everything this happens, but... <laughs> me personally i feel um, and it's up to the crew to basically f f went to our apartment basically they couldn't find her but just i think axel did it then we get to basically as a more like a fight i mean it's pretty really cool and the episode ends with them trying to go for it the episode ends with maggie waking up in you no know, empty room don't know what to do empty room well, I admit I'm going, yeah, for the rest of the, well, I admit I'm going to cover the last two, two parts of the arc fully, but, mm -hmm. I admit I may be a bit fast with this one because I feel, well, this is mostly a lead up to that. <clears throat> so, yeah, and during the credit scene playing was music instead of, no music. So yeah. Overall, the Smash Fest incident was pretty much just a set of part two and set up how dark arc this is going to be. So, um, yeah. Let's... Next we get to... In dis... Mm -hmm. The dis... The inkling disappearing. Oh yeah, the, um, the spot fest incident was a pretty good setup and opening, but um, anyways... Incident disappearing. Mm -hmm. The episode starts with me. Uh, be... And also tied up in there. Spooky music happens and glitch. Happen. And after that, we see it's a message of, of tell in the studio recapping what happened to Maggie's dis disappearance and doesn't inkling have been also been recently abducted. Meanwhile, there are fine Axel and Maggie continue to search for the tip. I begins to mention about where was everyone in the plaza. While well, Mario being stupid as usual tells that Luigi is hiding somewhere and everything else and don't know what to do. No, no, we kidnap them until we scare from definite happens with all the glowing glow. And um, <clears throat> if you want to know, if you want to know, in case of a glow, it yeah, that will happen. Mm. So yeah, Mario tries to a walk, and um, well, for a second there. Uh, doesn't seem effective, and for a second uh, I was expecting he was just going to teleport in front of them and go in and big for the jump scare, but nope, he just ran like a lunatic dad. But still scary though. Meanwhile, back in the mushroom in the mushroom kingdom, we see Boss go for uh, physically and Super Mario Gucci Four 
arrived the former ass headquarter building, which is closed and yeah, you're moving and we get to another joke of Nico Kojima. Like it thing owned apparently. And everything. Anyways, we see Swagmaster and Chris moving all the last of the anime stuff and discussing what our plans. Swagmaster confronts Mr. Chris that he probably wants hard time to come back to his civilian life. If, which, by the way, is it me or am I the only one who is not? The anime they're playing? The anime where they're playing was. In the flashback, which, one sec, <clears throat> who apparently had watched, watched Helpful Fall as the good son and another anime with basic, and another anime with a Lollywood bowl of a, of a Lollywood horns. I don't know that anime and wearing me clothing. Sorry, I don't watch that much anime and I can't remember every anime. By the way, if you're wondering, my thoughts of Helpful Full Fox, so, so, Cinco Sun. It was pretty good. I thought it was actually a pretty good anime. Yeah, all the FBI jokes aside. Yeah, seriously, how many of these people like to make so many of these FBI jokes? I admit it was a pretty good anime. I so far find it was a pretty good, nice, relaxing, calming one. Yes, I if you can get over those certain jokes, I feel well, it's getting a little too old. Yeah, I think. Also, it was implied. I probably resume. Chris has been. I mean, Swagmaster has been watching a lot of anime as of late. Yeah, I've seen too much, yeah. Implying yet, it impacting that the anime yet, ever since a while ago. Mm. Suddenly, they bump into the other two and end up again freaking being on flashbacks, but I request to help Chris. Or, so I doubt that, and with the form, they're being jobless and kind of blame the group for it. But, let's go. It explains that and Maggie has kidnapped by a weedaboo and the team needed needed some weedaboo hunters to find the help <coughs> Ask me. to find in the kidnappers. Chris asked and asked Sorry Master if you can go help the group. He dis he disagrees but uh, Chris made up talk about the problems earlier from Weedaboos and yeah, pretty much that. Then we get to an obvious Dragon Ball reference. Yeah, the over nine thousand joke. Yeah, we have to get to that obvious joke. It's nice to see eat that back. Heck. Heck. Mm -hmm. So yeah, after all the. And so after all of that, everything else, the scene just goes through the Prince Mushroom Kingdom where Chris rants about at Swag for not owning a, uh, um, uh, yeah, right. earlier. They Princess Peach meets at the, the the entire team meets at the pr Princess Cast. So and Mario group was poor that may get about missing how they're gonna find how they're gonna deal with it and also and also because. They could swim there, but realized that all would be long distance, and one of them, and since Octolinks are Octolinks and Inklings, can't swim. So they decided to sort of like go into the Assmobile. Yeah, okay. Actually, anyways, they got, anyways, we get to an obvious Batman like transition. True, Chris Rance realizing they don't know boat, and decided to see one of, I think, and see one of those boats, and also just throws a wrench and grabs them and goes with. Riding the boat. Also, um, also former ah, ah soldiers. Yeah, seriously. Did any of these guys never check the acronyms, or did they just? Oh wait, this is an S it's a Mario Galaxy Four joke. So yeah, they also. Anyway, it's me. So yeah, when everything when they prepare the ship and everything, get on the boat and everything and everything else, and when they were doing it. It. They set off and started show troubles aside, everything else, annoying rival thing. And then we see Godzilla! Or Gojira! Yeah. Got you away, everything else. And I maybe get to some action sequences. Seriously, could they come up with better cannonballs? Or, oh, wait, right. Godzilla has a bit immune to those cannonballs. 
And then back at the enemy island, yeah, this, okay, a lot earlier Mario has defeated the Ryuka uh, and also got the map itself. We fought to a wall just Maggie before. This clears up his name and reveals that the actual, yeah, he, Maggie was before, yeah, pretty much just, yeah, early on they pretty much just confirmed that. Uh, so isn't, isn't the same. They did not kid. Did not serve the kidnapping. Who was not the kidnapper, but someone else. He was kidnapped as well at the end of the main episode because we're going to do it in the cast black and place an old SNG for music. You can know this is a. Anywho. This episode was more even a bit dark and a bit depressing a bit, but hey, I do like the funny jokes and everything else. Anywho, we get to the episode that I... We get to Mario and the experiment. So... Yes, it begins where we left off, reviewing our also greets and everything, and while well, we get to the true culprit of this, it turns out to be Franks! It's da 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 Da, da, da. So it was Frank's this whole time. He says uh, uh, does not ha have any courage to do what he has done. He said that uh, does not have no courage to do what he wants, everything else, and after that, even if the a anime ban and everything else, and well. Mm -mm. He was expecting violence, and while well, I admit he was kind of not happy how it goes, and he was expecting that you would have killed Princess Peach. Peach. Then he summoned you two, you two, the suppose. He sees he is the magic pen being used by property. I'll, I'll try. Try to not try to buy the force, choking us all, but then it goes so well and everything. Uh, excuse me. See the time room of inklings, everything else, and while the inkraft is at has semi -pow power. Maggie then asks he him why would he needs it. And also Inkling made a stupid cartoon. No, it's called anime, please don't call it cartoons because ever uh, yeah, because I have a certain anime fan will be triggered if you see that. Anywho, then they want him to go to Palace 2000, he started the bang, and... <sighs> okay. Mm. We get to the power of the end, well, we get to reveal his plan. He wants to only have all the inklings, and he wants to make sure that his power was 100%, so he can have an island, because he wants to have his own island of waifus! <laughs> Well, I admit this plan, I, I admit, I kind of wish it's, no, I admit, I was expecting, this has got to be the, stupid, no, okay, aside from killing an entire species, something that's evil, but you're gonna use that, just to create, so you can have, waifus. That's gonna be the stupidest plan I've ever seen in my entire life! Wow, what a stupid plan! Stupid! Yeah, okay, okay, man, it's probably lost, but I was expecting he would want it to take off the world. Oh well. Back to that. Anyways. <clears throat> Anyways, we get back to. As Mario and friends to get to what's the enemy island, it got. And everyone's just excited, they're gonna probably save. Meg, but suddenly Godzilla gets to her one last time, everything else, and yeah, everything else. <clears throat> Anyways, everything, over the cool fight scenes, and also real life, and also, so I, I being first, I'm helping with the two. 
we grow on everything and well all scenes lost and no sufficient shows but and then we see yeah joe boss okay okay i'll give credit at least he has a cool fog i'll give this character at least this character has a redeeming quality for me at least he has a cool fog at least his father at least makes up at least is a bit cool at least at least he has some cool well, I admit he's technically just randomly someone just at work forgot, didn't know how to come up with it, so... <clears throat> yeah, I think what I admit I really like find is design character-wise just basically just last second does not... I feel like someone at somewhere, I think one of the brothers, or is just go... Quick! All right, quickly! I need, uh, I need to come up with a new, I need to come up with a new. If you should rather, uh, take Octo, in that Octo Dad as well as a Cthulhu Bass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. Okay. Done. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, he kind of feels like a reskin. To be honest, why I admit, kind of feels one of the most lazy designs I ever seen. And to be honest. Ooh, I feel so a bit sleepy. So yeah, after dealing with that, God's uh, me anyways. Meanwhile, anime at anime on anime island, Maggie is just thrown into the in by Mewtwo, everything else, and one out. And then Daryl's just taken before by by a Pikachu and his Ubi Miku, criticizing the interior of the whole hygiene's me. Gets quite shocked, everything else, and one out. So everything. As a girl, and then we get to a merely a, a great action sequence and well character development between these two and well I admit helping each other and pretty much just going to do it be, and then we mess with the rival and also as I just also was war explaining the warning of never sharing his waifus everything he had to get the point thanks for taking advantage of the everything else happening a lot happens in this in the entire anime island thing which I admit I like Meanwhile in the sea, we get to the ongoing action sequence where Mr. Ghost just defeated Godzilla that instantly and Bishop Godzilla and Mudman presumably also kind of died in that accident. I don't know how. Don't know how well. He's just gonna come back anyways. Anyways, he knocks out something of his Goku, everything else and whatnot and... So, doing how Though the weave is... Ink weave is only at 70%. Sure. Early after that, Akka is put in the light jacket. He's claimed to go to letting go, everything else, and the episode ends with a cliffhanger. But Maggie falling into the so two when it's closing. Making sure I'm sure whether I see it or not. I admit this also is a pretty good episode. So, yeah, the first three episodes were more just to set up the tone throughout this entire thing. Going with this dark and, well, kind of feeling hopeless feel. You I need to do something real quick. <clears throat> Sorry about that, I just need to do something real quick. Anyways, now we get to World War Mario. And this episode had a huge subtitle error problem. Many, they were, this is one of many episodes that had a bad subtitle thing. And some SGG4 fans put their own thoughts in the episode instead of actually commenting what's going on. Instead of put, have put true English subs instead of. Literally ruining for stringing thousands of fans. Yeah, because I have a hard time to critique this bad. Other examples include Mario Road Trip, as well as British Shots for the Great Mario Hotel, and then also the last episode of the, and also the last episode we talked and the Mar. You yeah, experiment. Mm -hmm. So, um. <clears throat> So, um, yeah. Uh, I 
you need to do something like this is fun. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just... Oh, yeah. Uh, like... Alright. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, I was gonna go and watch that later. Or anywho. <clears throat> Alright, back to the review. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, the Battle for Anime... The World War Mario episode. Uh, World War Mario. So, the episode starts with an early morning of the... <clears throat> it's me. Early morning of June 6, 2019. Wow, that's far. Long. Near the east coast of the anime island. That's me. The true. The true transport carries all the former ass personnel and well. <clears throat> Any else? And they decided why I know there's something we're afraid, but they're too scared for it. I see a sort of fear, everything else, and all the doors into St. Maggie and everything. And as soon as the doors open, they, oh god, they open them. And then the entire opens up, and most of the, the ass personnel just get, and uh, the other car cartels begin to open fire. Most of the ass personnel just straight up die. Seriously, these guys are, seriously, can they, can they get better train units? Seriously, they should, yeah, seriously, I know these are formal trained, but seriously, they should have, seriously, they should have also get, Seriously, I wish they, yeah, this is all the best equipment they can get. It's all. Turn, fishy, but can start moving, killing everyone, as the yeah, asshole that died and are being killed in the gun gunfire and explosions. As they are running into the nearest barrier, almost every. Uh, since she talked about actually for about Tuesday and a lot of that we get to very well we're just recording doing an iconic quote from Fallout doing the war. War never changes. Obvious Fallout reference. It's me while the bills help oh so sorry, my mind is just oh wait, that's French. Sorry, it's just that something else happened. Sorry, I'm just feeling a bit too um, bored right now. I can get these reviews done real quick, and I can go do something else later. <laughs> Paul tells us to focus on anime to go back. I mean, to focus on the manga and anime. We get to admit the action sequence. Funny, se like this entire war sequence was great action, and I do really like it. It also should. So they and we see a lot of cool badass moments with Chris and Swagmaster. Also, more particular Swagmaster. There, and we even see the. And I just some more logo reference aside. We get to. And I admit, based. So I do like, and I will give Bob credit. At least he had, say so. At least done something useful. At least. The, the scene then cuts to Mario, the Super SMG Four, Tara, Tira, uh, Bukins, Sakura, Luigi, and Chris. Is in the transport, which is a patch every day. The guys in the French entrance, and, and while Mar Mario is exclaims he is ready to kill some bitches, yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> Maggie has been tortured in the zero two thousand. Everything else has happened, and in more pain. Rosa, does a uh, play aid France to stop killing Maggie if he can keep it going? But Frank's here. Doesn't listen to everything else, and here's suddenly something happening. Mewtwo basically watch the prisoners while he the enemies on his own. As it turns out, Super Mario Kochi 4 are finally on their way to the through the front uh, spaces, and also and we're also doing with the fake Hideo Kojima with a wig apparently. Also, we see oh hi Steve. Still disappointed that you didn't make it to Smash. I hope, please hope he makes it to Smash because personally I feel, feel I'm more into him, him than Banjo Kazooie. Anyways, proceed. 
has to do with that weird anime creeper cosplay. So some was he also drawing drawing some fan art. Drawing some weird yeah, anyways back to the war. So this uh, then it cuts to black like and well Why the heart bro broken yeah mm. so how the hell did Steve get here? Not assuming fly mod. But hey, it's nice to see him back. I hope they're do mm -mm. He didn't tell he if he doesn't tell where Maggie is. It's however Steve Francis doesn't want to win to ruin his plans. Take a then takes and deals with Seth. So Francis doesn't want to take out Sephiroth, and also Mario doesn't know who Sephiroth is apparently. Hey. Yep. Up. Uh, mm -mm. So yeah, after every dealing with that weird stuff and happening, also. Anyways, me wants that and then you're awesome. Let's do the crash the first thing. But all our slow confirmation and crash help being the others. Beginning to blame himself for what happened. No, don't blame yourself. It's all I'll blame the true cop. Blame Bob. It's all his fault. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about it. And you? <clears throat> as far as this pre and free dish, everything else happens, and well, a lot of things happen. And we get to an epic fight scene. Anyways, we get to a lot of emotional fight scene, and well, then beating Sephiroth. The episode then, obviously, I think they made a Final Fantasy reference with the how, how basic on how Sephiroth killed other girlfriend. And I admit, seriously. I don't get it. Why couldn't she just use a phoenix down on the I admit. And I admit she died. Well I admit this has got to be sad. I wanna say something real quick. <clears throat> um how can she die in this sense? You do realize she's just going to just come back alive. Okay. So she was stabbed through the heart, yeah, because why not? The Final Fantasy VII reference. Yeah, I'm also happy to find the VII reboot. I'm still waiting for the PC port to come. Anywho. Now let's go with the final episode. Final. Final hours. So after the end of the game, more Zara's death. Yeah, she's gonna come back anyways. This this is a Super Mario Galaxy 4 production. She will just come back. Okay, well, I'm just You uh, want to take the next screen? Yes, um, right after this. Um, uh, sure, sure, sure. Okay, maybe I'm a bit too um, early on that one. So yeah, because of the extra copies I wanna. So then he just, Frank decided, why don't you just summon a hundred more or some fake Sephiroths? Yeah, why not? And everything else happened. We get to a cool action sequence and everything. And then how oh, hope is lost until we see he bomb Chris and and Swagmaster come with a fr come in the t knocking down friends. Everything else and we get to a lot of the Team Rocket references. Everything else and whatnot. Not. Mm -mm. Uh, mm -mm. Uh, everything. And we got to that weird snake body pillow. <sighs> it's got to be the weirdest thing. Excuse me, how many bo- Apparently if it, How many body pillows does this kid- Does this guy have? Does it even his father or his mother actually- They look into his body pillow collection. See what's happening. And you? Active business. 
If I enter the cause of the friends and then get the intake and everything, po not get into the intake. Yeah, these guys should have just check where they're aiming at least, check where they're kicking at least, finish it off. And then we get to, well, charge 100%. And as I said, and summons a super god, super saiyan god, Goku. And then they defeat the crew, everything else, and whatnot. Then Charles just decided when to transfer to Dragon Ball Z f fighters. Hmm, why not? Everything else, shit goes and all. And while well, I am an asshole, decided why not? All of that. So I get to make the event and everything else doesn't work well, everything else needs to. And while I admit he says she sacrificed a fair bit of person. Asshole doesn't want to do it to Maggie, but yeah, but encourage her so he can have the full power to deal with it. <clears throat> Anywho, after the key blast and everything else. All of it was 100% and... And then fr and then Alex has something that's more powerful than Goku. And that is... Excuse me one moment, I want to talk about something stupid real quick about something. Well, a while back, or cut some time ago, there was that one certain meme. It was one of my favorite characters, and it was one of my, one of my childhood shows, Scooby-Doo. And had sh and one character in particular was Shaggy. And someone thought it'd be funny just to make a meme about Shaggy being what if he was a Dragon Ball Z character. And we get to Ultra Instinct Shaggy. Oh my god! Oh my god, why? Oh, okay, sorry for the. Um, uh, yeah, one sec. Can you, can you mute this real quick? And when I did. And mm -mm, when I do this, then I will mute. I'll mute it now. Mm. Oh my god, why? Why the stupid Ultra Instinct Shaggy? Really? That was the. Seriously, that was the stupidest Deus Ex Machina I ever seen. Why can't it just be someone like Saint Seiya? Or just wish for a god destroyer. Or something else. But now, let's go with the most, oh dear god, that stupid meme. Ultra Instinct Goku. Also, I kind of, seriously, why is out of all the people, oh my god. Why is it out of me that stupid meme in that existence? Sorry about all that ranting, I really was earning the attention to the positive, but <sighs> why do I find it the stupidest reason? I feel like it's the stupidest Deus Ex Mach. I kind of wish they just straight up just summon someone. They just summon a stupid meme, yeah. <sighs> I expect that. I mean. Sorry, I just needed this one, okay? <sighs> I find it stupid and dumb, this meme, because really? Because he can use this much power? You know, I would in reality go. If he was big against a tough character, if Shaggy was big against a tough again, it would just go BOOM! <sighs> I feel like this was one of the dumbest decisions, and while I admit this was the stupidest DXX market and stupid surprise ending. And then on the side, he defeated the Goku. Oh my god, Jesus, people. That doesn't. I feel like some, if I were to defeat Goku, I would just summon Saitama or someone. Uh, I would just have. If I were writing this episode, I would just have used St. Pegasus or Go, S Saitama. But. Really? That. Dead meme! Oh my dear god, they had to use that dead meme! Out of all the things they had to use! Was that dead meme? Okay, I'm done. <sighs> Sorry, it's just that I just don't want to do that stupid dead meme. 
Huh, not bad so big. Okay. Anyways, after defeating the I with the most um. of the Deus Ex Machina. Anyways, moving that aside. Oh yeah, I'm just also typing while the <clears throat> So, um, yeah. <clears throat> After that stupid. So anyways, the Shaggy decided one to see all the Inklings. And then, then they were worried about Maggie. Oh, and by the way. Russians in that and kaboom. Does Joseph still killing off? I've been going Fry and um, and, and Cartel and and oh okay actually turns out he's still alive. Shaggy still survives. Oh dear God, why is still him? Also, Frank's on the uh, anime Cartel died. Oh well, I'll see. Probably. You know. Uh, Maggie, get then surprised. He looks human. And dude with the Goku guy just blowing up. Oh, so Maggie became the very thing hate an enemy human. Maggie then wonders why I have been so self defeated. At Tiger's funeral, well, I admit this was got to be the saddest moment in the series in this time, but. I don't find it sad because mainly because Luigi mainly because well how about Luigi like remember the time when Like how, mainly because as much as the, okay, like I said, as much as this, the emotional scene is here in the entire of my clutch for I'm not really sad at all due to the fact that at No, I admit they treated this stuff like seriously, but in all honest, like we see him top. Like, how is this Paul? Also, just in case. Hi, yeah, yeah. No, I admit that's that stupid me. So I admit, while I admit it's quite emotional and whatnot, and yeah, Bowser only appeared in it because why not? Because he needs somewhere around the extra. Seriously, though, where the hell were you draw the entire arc? Anyway, showing permanently she died and ran her off the script or something. And then while Maggie just feels sad, cheers. Axel just cheers her up, up and everything else and move on. And the anime ends with 
Shaggy bit well and yeah, I'm not gonna uh yeah that shaggy mean just bidding off shaggy bidding off and whatnot. <sighs> Well, I admit, I just aside from what I hated about was a bit of the climax of just sh just showing Shaggy at the end, just going with a Shaggy X Machina or something. Something. I admit it was just there because why not? A dead memes. Oh my god. Anyways, later today I'm gonna write an email to Super Mario Glitch, to Glitch Productions on how this arc went. But overall, the second part was. Pretty good, and I do really like the dark aspect. Well, aside from the shaggy stuff and whatnot, I just feel it was much more dark, and I admit it was got to be sad, dark, and everything else, and it was kind of one of my favorites. Though, personally, I feel personally the ending should have just dealt. No, personally. Like, I never really liked the ending a bit. It's just. I admit, I never really liked. No, no I admit the ending was quite emotional. When I just hated how they just randomly just used shaggy for this. This. Hmm. Oh, and I just recently posted a Reddit post on what if the anime arc never happened? What if? And what if they didn't just stupidly did something stupid? One suggested the anime will never see the light of day again. Well, I admit that, but it would have caused several less problems, and while I admit it would just cause. Stop, but I just admit it was something I didn't want to deal with anymore and it would have to thank God remove that shaggy thing But well the second well chapter 2 was more dark and I thought it was pretty good At least it tries to be more try to also maintain a comedy really and maintain as well as comedy and at least it then also makes me want to go And I admit at least it's not like season 3 of Rick and Morty where it's gonna be where it was trying to be dark and Where it tries to be dark and well uh, Try to move away from the original for the most part. And also Maggie as a human and the anime Maggie Squid human form. I don't know if this is gonna be permanent throughout the entire series or not. I'm gonna assume maybe for a few episodes. I feel like maybe just for maybe three, four weeks or until the next arc. I'm gonna say maybe until the next arc, by the end of the ne next arc, or somewhere in the next arc. Or uh, where Maggie decided when to become a human again or something. Kid. So yeah, I liked it. And, <clears throat> yeah, overall it's... Pretty good, amazing, and the entire thing was also pretty good and amazing. It was one of the dark and at least try at least more attempt to tell a darker story and whatnot. And at least also getting with you and also being a multi chapter. Anyways, we're gonna get back to normal episodes next week or so, and well, yeah. So, what's now in Super Mario Bros. 4? I'm going to speculate, well, first of all, I'm assuming. I would feel like Axel would probably be more playing more major role, play more major roles in the episode. Will play further major roles in the show. I'm gonna say she will play more major roles. I'm gonna say more major roles. Roles. So yeah, I'm gonna say play more major roles in the series. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye. Bye!